the Sunday after Easter Sunday is called Sunday of Divine Mercy. It is a feast that springs from the apparitions of our Lord to St. Faustina, a Polish nun. And it was declared as a gift for the Church by St. John Paul II. On this Feast of the Divine Mercy, there are three questions that I wish to pray over with you and think over and reflect over, hoping that we can understand the Divine Mercy more deeply. There were many people to whom the Lord revealed Himself. How come the others rejected and the others accepted? How come the others followed and the others crucified Him? How come the others say, the stone rejected by the builders? How come the others say, He is our chief cornerstone? Bakit magkaiba? Why do people get mad at the church? Why do people get mad at God? Why do people get mad at Jesus Christ? While the others are fantastic disciples and fantastic Christians. Where lies the difference? People reject because they don't know. They don't know. That is why at Calvary, the Lord said, Father, forgive them. They do not know what they are doing. So people reject, people get angry, people fight, and people want to destroy because of ignorance. The second question is, why do people recognize the Lord and the others don't? This is a different kind of level. In the first question, I am talking about people who don't know and people who know. In the second level of questions, ang, tina ang tinitingnan po natin ay mga taong kilala na si Jesus. And yet, why is it that even if they know the Lord, they do not recognize the Lord? You remember the disciples of Emmaus? You remember St. Thomas in the Gospel. You remember the other apostles. Even remember St. Peter. Remember Mary Magdalene. Bakit? Magkakasama sila ng tatlong taon at nang muling mabuhay ang Panginoon at kinausap sila, akala ni Maria Magdalena, hardinero. Akala ng disciples of Emmaus, estranghero. Akala ng ibang alagad, multo. They thought they were seeing a ghost. How come the others recognize and how come the others do not recognize? The answer is love. That is why the beloved disciple always recognized the Lord. The beloved disciple saw the tomb and believed. The beloved disciple saw the Lord at the lake Tiberias and believed. Second question, why do people recognize and the others do not? The answer, the eye of the soul is love. And people who love will be able to see. Ang mata ng kaluluwa natin ay hindi nandito sa ating ulo. Ang mata ng kaluluwa ay kaluluwang nagmamahal at kapag nagmamahal makikita natin ang lahat. The first question, why do people reject? Because of ignorance. Why do people not recognize? Because of the lack of love. Third question, why do people not like to change? Sa gospel po natin, nandun sila sa madilim na kwarto. Sa madilim na kwarto, nakalak ang pinto, nakakandado ang lahat, madilim at ayaw nilang umalis sapagkat natatakot sila. Why do people refuse to change? 
Why do people stay behind locked doors? Why are people satisfied with being cramped in a small room without any options, without possibilities, without hopes? Why? Because they have not received the Holy Spirit. That is why the Lord on Easter Sunday and the Gospel was read, He breathed on them and said, Receive the Holy Spirit. And after breathing on them the Holy Spirit, what happened? The eleven went to different parts of the world in order to proclaim the Gospel. And even if the others spoke only Hebrew and the others spoke only Greek, Everybody was understood wherever they went. Why? Because the Spirit was speaking through them. So my third question is, why are people afraid of change? Because they have not accepted the Holy Spirit as the guide for change. We are afraid of change because we want comfort. We are afraid of change because we want convenience. We are afraid of change because we, we don't like pain. But all, all change is painful. And that is why we do not like to change. We like to take it easy, comfortable. But if you have received the Holy Spirit, nothing is ever painful to change. If you have received the Holy Spirit, you will be bold to move on. Because you know that you are not alone. The Spirit will live, will speak, will Work through you. Tatlong tanong sa Divine Mercy Sunday. Why do people reject God in the church? Ignorance. Why do we fail to recognize the Lord? Lack of love. And why do people refuse to change? Because we have not fully accepted the Holy Spirit. Therefore, this morning, let us recognize that. There is a part of our hearts that reject the Lord. Ang tawag ng iba ay cafeteria Catholics. Pipiliin ko yung gusto, iiwanan ko yung ayaw ko. Para kang pupunta sa karinderiya, mamimili ka lang ng ulam, at yung ulam na ayaw mo, bahala na lang siyang mapanis kasi hindi mabibili. But the Catholic faith is not a karinderiya. The Catholic faith is acceptance of all. And it is ignorance that we must fight because ignorance eventually leads us to reject God and the church. May we recognize the Lord every time He visits and may every visit show us by the eyes of love. It is the Lord. And when we need to change, wag kang matakot magbago. Wag kang matakot iwanan ang dating ikaw sapagkat sa kapangyarihan at liwanag ng Espiritu Santo, kaya mong magbago, gaganda at bubuti ka, hindi dahil sa iyong kakayahan, kundi dahil kumikilos sa buhay mo at pinakikilos mo ang Diyos sa buhay mo. On this Sunday of Easter of the Divine Mercy, let us pray for the grace to overcome our ignorance. Let us pray for the grace to love more that we may recognize Him. And let us pray for the breath of the Spirit to come upon us so that we may not be afraid to change.